So there's our four claw setting. Now this is the other version. It's a tapered collet, but it's just set like a bezel. Uh, it's very adaptable. You could do it either way. But for this one we're doing the claw setting. We're going to make a tapered collet four prong setting. Take a piece of 4.8 millimeter thick wall chenier, 4.8 outside diameter, cut a piece four millimeters long, and we've got a tapered block that we're going to put the chenier in and we're just going to hammer it straight down in with the ball pin hammer. Now this hole, this is a 17 degree block, call it block, uh, and the hole you're going to be hammering it down into is either five and a half or six. Then we're going to take our tapered punch that matches the angle of the plate and we're going to hammer it down into the chenier. Now, you don't want to make the top of this any bigger than four millimeter. Four millimeters is the stone we're going to be setting. So if you drive this all the way out to the edge of the block and keep hammering, it'll be bigger than we want and you can't fix it. So be fairly gentle. Take your stone with you. Drop it inside the collet make sure that it doesn't just disappear down inside. It wants to sit on top. Measure your stone. You want to hold it in the broad part of your vernier calipers. So this is slightly over four, which is okay. And we're going to set that aside. And now we're going to put our collet into a ring. So you need to make a ring completely finished and after it's completely finished we're going to narrow a bit just using and we're narrowing it right on the solder join. So we're going to use a half round ring file Brace it against your bench peg. Use the half round part. Do the other side. Exactly opposite. You can see that it's getting narrower at the top and that's what we want for this setting. So we want it to be about two millimeters wide. After you get a nice taper we're going to file the top down just a little bit to make it a little bit thinner. Just use your flat number two cut hand file. Brace this against your bench peg. And that's all we want. Now we're going to anneal this because if we don't anneal it, when we saw it, it'll just snap open. Now the reason I had you make a complete ring is it's impossible to get this round without having it soldered and being able to hammer it up on a ring mandrel. So anneal this and saw through your join. I'm using my split mandrel and I'm going to tidy this up before I saw it because it's easy to take the file marks out this way. It's almost impossible to take them out without ruining your collet. So now I'm ready to saw this. The bottom of this measures 4.06 
So I'm going to set my calipers at 2. I've I put a little saw mark right in the middle. So now I'm going to just drag my calipers down either side of that mark. So I'll know where to cut. Now this tapers from 4 to 5. So when you cut your ring, you make sure you have it on a taper. Otherwise, it's going to take an awful lot of cleanup. So I'm holding my ring in the GRS bench vise. And I'm sawing down the angle of the collet. Bench vise just makes your life easier. So I'm going to go on the other side now and saw down. So now ideally we have a little piece perfectly shaped to cut out and we can start fitting our collet in. Don't spread this. File it until it's back at the proper angle. Uh, and then slip your collar in, check it, and you want to make sure that you don't deform the ring because once you solder the collet in, you can't shape it or you'll deform the collet, collet. So keep working with your file and you can see the angle that you need to file it. And once you get it close, then you're going to have to round the inside of your ring shank to fit the collet perfectly. And we want it to fit perfectly top, bottom, and sides. Otherwise it'll be a messy solder join. So you can see it's now just sitting in there. And now we need to round the insides so that it fits. Now if you have a really steady hand you can use a cylinder burr in your hand piece and go slowly just take a little bit off at a time because it's, it's easy to take it off but you can't put any back on. little bit at a time. Now, when you have your collet so that it fits inside, outside, depth, so it wants to be even with the inside of the ring, then you can hold it upside down on your third hand on your soldering block. Make sure everything is straight and even and solder it. Two bits of hard solder on the inside um, and you'll see that it, it actually holds itself in place when you have it correct. So solder it and then we'll continue working on it.